Hello, my name is Brian Teague, Product Line Manager for Senko Advanced Components. On this video segment, we're going to show you how to go through and quickly inspect our fiber to the antenna connectors like our IPLC, which is a hardened LC, as well as our other one, our IP25, which is an LC duplex and it has the electrical conductors in it as well. The IP series connectors that we have are designed for outdoor applications. Uh, there's a couple unique features about it. At first it's got this collar on there and that keeps the nut in place so you don't have to worry about this accidentally coming off. So if I were going to go through and access the connectors inside here, just pull this back and unscrew. When you're working with fiber optic connectors, it's always important to make sure that you inspect both ends before you mate them. If one of the ends has dust and you mate them, what you'll end up doing is taking the dust and embedding it into the ferrule. That's going to permanently ruin both end faces. Um, the good thing is a lot of the inspection scopes like our Smart Probe 2 are very quick and very easy to use. So in this case, we're going to use an example here of our IPLC connectors. The first thing I want to do is check the assembly and then we'll check the connectors inside the, the adapter port. So this might be the end on the piece of equipment and this would be the assembly coming up going into the interconnect point. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use our Smart Probe 2 to inspect both ends. Now, for me, I like to actually just use the end bulkhead connector tip because it makes it a lot easier for me to do both and I can do it very quickly. So in this case, if you look on the tip as well as on the scope, they're keyed. What you want to do is align the two in. So what I'm doing is taking the key on the tip, I'm aligning it in, and I'm screwing it in. It's important that you make sure you get the tip aligned in with the keying system because that'll help make it easy to take the tip off later. Okay, so now that we've got our LC and adapter tip in, what I wanna do is check the end that's got the connectors inside of the housing. So it's very simple. You just put it in, align it like so, and push the button. Now what's happening is, the software will go through and do the analysis. It's looking not only for contamination, but also in-phase defects to the IEC 6130335 standard. Okay, so in this case, we're gonna go through it. We're gonna clean both ends. What I'm gonna use is the Senko Smart Cleaner. So this is our 1.25 Smart Cleaner. It's gonna allow you to clean both ends of the connector pair. So in this case, again, working with the connectors inside of the um, adapter housing, just gonna put it in, give it a quick push all the way. Now, one of the things that makes this tool a little bit different than some of the others out there we're used to pushing multiple times is the gear system in here is a lot longer. So you're gonna get a lot more white. So in this case, punch it one time, engage the cleaner one time into both ports, and then recheck it again using your scope. So again, just follow the same procedure, put it in, push the button and press, and let's take a look at the image. Okay, so we've checked the end that's inside of the equipment. Now it's time to check the assembly. There's two ways you can do this. The first way is you can go through and you can change out the inspection tip on the scope, or you can use the existing end bulkhead tip, and I find this to be a lot faster, and just take a standard LC duplex adapter, snap it onto the connectors, and now we can come in and do our check very quickly. It's a very simple process and I'll have to change out tips. Okay, now it's time to clean them. So you can do it one of two ways. The cleaners actually come with an end cap that you can put back onto the tip and you can insert the jumper into, or if you've already got the LC duplex adapter to do your inspection with the end bulkhead tip, you can just also use the cleaner and do it the same way and give it a quick push. Now, once I've done that, I wanna come back in and reinspect both ends, give it a check, and give it a check. Now, if you're working with the IP25 series connector, which has got the two LC duplex as well as the copper conductors, it's gonna be a slightly different process than the standard IPLC. In this case, we have our assembly. So to go through and check the bulkhead, it's the same process we did before, just like you do with an LC connector. Use your in adapter tip for it. But I'm gonna to have to go through and change out the tips to inspect the ones on the assembly here. 
All right, so now it's time to check the other end of the IP25. So in this case, I'm gonna check the assembly. What I've had to do is change out my tip. So in this case, all I'm doing is taking the standard 1.25 jumper tip that comes inside with the Smart Probe Kit, and I've put it on. And it's a very simple process, just like if you were checking any other 1.25. We just come in, use the tip, align it on, like so, and then you press the button and do your inspection. Okay, so to clean the IP25, it's a little bit different than it is for the standard IPLC, just because of the housing. So in this case, we're gonna have to use the end cap that comes with the Smart Cleaner. So all I'm gonna do is take my Smart Cleaner, flip the lid open, and then I'll come in, I align my tip onto the barrel, like so, and then give it a quick push. Now I've got it clean. Once I do that, I come back in, check my end face and I'm all set and I'm ready to go. Okay, so now I've gone through and inspected and cleaned both ends. Now all I wanna do is go through and now I can mate them. So the connectors only go in one way. If you look, they're all set and you put it in to get it nice and snug. And once you have it, turn the housing, have it locked in place, return the collar and you're all set. Okay, and we're doing the same thing also for the IPLC, but there is a cool little thing that we put on here. If you see the white marks on the housing as well as the two white marks on the assembly, that helps you know how to line it up. And it only goes in one way. So when I put it in, I get it lined up. I have everything in place. I get my housing in. I turn it, secure it, put the collar on, and we're all set.